Okay. Cowabunga. Okay. Cowabunga dudes, I'm Eric. Wait, Cowabunga dudes, this is episode number four on Eric. I'm Eric. Oh, that's not. Well, it's good to be Yeah. All right. This is episode number four. I'm Eric. I'm Amen. And we are Nerds and Nerds. <laughs> Ninja Turtles. We're not doing the regular hand gestures. Or we could stick with one. Maybe the Kumbayato Toe. Kumbayato Toe. Yeah, I was about to say, are you recording? No. You don't need to. We got a lot of stuff up right there. Okay, so let's go to our ball again. You have to figure out. Am I in shot? No. Are you in shot? No. I mean, do we have shot then? You're both out of shot. I can see you. Stop. I can see you. Okay. Are we out of shot? Yes. Alright. Uh, step. Step? No, back up, back up. <laughs> Are we on shot? Yes. Alright, step in with your outside foot, twist in. Okay. <laughs> and then let's do a dry run. Back up a little bit and dry run. Ready? Three, two. Did you nod? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I nod. Okay, yeah. well, nod. Okay, go ahead nod. Three. Hey guys. I should be recording this yet. It is being recorded into a special YouTube live as it happens. <laughs> Three, two. Oh, I got it. Cowabunga dude, this is episode number four. We are notes. And I didn't say Eric. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Three, two. Cowabunga. Ah! Son of a bitch! God Three, two, one. Cowabunga dudes, this is episode number four. I'm Eric. I'm Nathan. And this is Notes and Nerds. Just feel it. Just feel it. Just feel it. I feel it. something that's not in it. Yeah. 
Free catch. Free catch. Free catch. Free catch. Uh, one last try run. And set. Is that my guard? You're recording. Three. Two. Cowan Book it is. This is episode number four. I'm Eric. I'm Aiden. And we are Goats and Nerds. Episode number four, I'm Eric, I'm Nathan, and we are Notes and Nerds. Alright, big deal. So, did you give it enough time to put it in the stage, though, so you can have I don't think we did. Okay. Um, so, yeah. position. We are. We are. Well, we are. No, I'm just doing it this way. We know how long we want to do it. And what you're going to do is hold it. When I say we are, and he does notes, and I get my nerd, do a boom, boom, boom. All right, ready? We are notes and nerds. Yeah. All right. But what, what we need to have next is because once you do this, that is when you're going to hit the button, and we're going to hold it until we hear the beat. Ready? All right, we have shot. Yeah. In three, two. Hey guys! Fuck! <laughs> See what I gotta work with. I, 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 I'm, I'm, not used to, I'm not used to throwing in the Calabonia at the beginning. I could have did chills bigger. Too peak! Or, uh, too peak? Or not too peak? That is the question. To die to live down the ball! The last Calabonia show. In three, and this is definitely not Shakespeare. Two, California dudes. I'm Eric. I'm Amy, and we are notes and nerds. So let's go ahead and reposition camera. See, you don't know about this. You, this is not what you do. You don't know nothing about this. What? what? Some of our hopes that come out of the movie. We're 
something like that. Keep it short, get on the main point, don't talk about any of the negative stuff. <coughs> yeah, that's a much better shot. Um, I can throw it to the turtle over the top. Please hand me a All right. I'm topping off. All right, when you get the camera free, what I need you to do is do a few signs. Tap down. When you hit the button, start counting down immediately. So I want to wait about two seconds before we start talking. This way we don't have to fade in with uh, our audio. Okay. So that's one mistake that I've been catching with you a lot. So, all right. Um, so. Sucks has a live feed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's so straight. You need your walk because. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason you can't get the red.
um, the cartoon is also on Hulu Plus. So I mean, getting if you're if you're a cable cutter, the cartoon is there also. The thing is though, the characters are all between I believe 13 and 15 basically. And here's the great thing: it feels like it. They really feel like early teenage kids. Uh, it's like let's go back to the CW show. I think that one of the reasons why it had a hard time being accepted is they already felt like 16, 17, 18, yeah. 18 19. Um, like Raphael almost felt like that angsty 18 year old who really didn't want to be a part of it. And there's a lot of creepy situations and a lot of uh, uh, they're trying to be their master ninja, but they're still trying to deal with immaturity. That's the thing, yeah. and I also like the whole fact that Donnie is his, uh, his super crush on April. That is amazing. Uh, it's kind of fun to watch. Yeah, but you feel sorry for the baseball. The underground crush for Leonardo, and uh, that's no underground crush. I mean, it's pretty obvious. That's what this is the show's treasure daughter, uh, which I'm going to give you all a little thing I think about. Uh, what was her name? Uh, but anyway, I got it. Anyway, backstory. It's no spoiler. I mean, if you haven't seen the season of the cartoon yet, get out of under your rock and start watching it. Um, anyway, Shredder's daughter is about the same age as April O'Neil, give or take a year. But here's my problem. Well, not problem. This is my speculation. Splinter, in an episode, talked to uh, April when he was trying to find her weapon. Splinter was telling uh, April about his daughter and how she would have been just about April's age at, the, at that time. I believe what happened is when Shredder attacked Hamato uh, Yoshi in Japan, he killed the mother, you know, uh, his wife. When Hiroko Saki killed the mother, but I think to back up a little bit more, is for you guys that haven't seen it, in this version, he had a wife and a daughter, which is, 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 that is a way different set off. Yeah. So there is a daughter and a wife involved who was killed in supposedly. Well, in the original black and white Turtle Origins, or uh, Turtle Prime, and it's sometimes known. In Turtle Prime, the black and white Ethan Laird comics from Mirage Studios, uh, uh, Amato Yoshi, Splinter, well not Splinter, Amato Yoshi and Splinter are two different entities. Uh, Amato Yoshi had a wife that was killed, and so was Amato Yoshi. Uh, Splinter, however, was uh, at rest that was highly intelligent and further the loose, and then it was mutated into a humanoid form. But in this one, it's kind of tying in the original origin story of Amato Yoshi, based from the Turtle Prime area, but also from the classic 80s uh, Turtles cartoon where Amato Yoshi was turned into a rat. So the story goes, the wife is killed, the daughter is also killed. But my speculation that I am anticipating heavily to pop out in season two, this is just some of my learning. Uh, I expect uh, the girl, Shredder's daughter, to be turned out to be Splinter's daughter. Why? Again, there was a lot of hints in season one that I see happening. But anyway, season two is going to kick off uh, in about a month or so, uh, according to a lot of news releases and sources. I believe that San Diego Comic Con this weekend has also been uh, announced. There's been a lot of good times. The characters and celebrity voiceovers. The Craig invasion has happened. Uh, April has been kidnapped in the. Uh, this is all leading into the promo that was on Nickelodeon yeah. in the next episode, the last uh, episode. episode. Excuse me. You can find some stuff all online. Yep. So I think what's going to be able to see uh, Crank Invasion, which isn't the main Crank, voiced by one Rose and Moore. Kind of a, I can see it. Yeah. I've, 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 I've seen a sneak peek to it, and really, I mean, you can hear the layer of her voice between the new voice of the Crank, and yeah, it was pretty wild, but I have to give it up for her coming right out of the woodwork and working on this project. So here's what I was expecting for season two. Trevor is going to put away his uh, his uh, 
vendetta against you with the turtles, maybe for a couple episodes or so, to help fight the Krang, because the Krang don't give a crap who they uh, overtake. You know, Trigger's just another imbecile in a way, in their opinion. Yeah, okay. Especially in that, not like the other one, Krang and Shredder are not together. They're, they, not they, together. They, they're, they're opposed. So you don't have just the good versus the bad. You have the good versus the bad versus the bad. It, I mean, it's Turtle, Shredder, and Krang. They're all opposed to one another. Yeah. So, I mean, then we're also going to be seeing Casey Jones this season. But come on, that's right there. We're looking at the website right now, flashing across. Casey Jones is going to you a little spoiler. Yes, in the new version, he will be wearing a hockey mask. Because I was even asked about this. He's going to be a teenage form, and he is going to be voiced. I'll just say this if you've ever seen Drake and Josh, the nerdy guy Josh will be voicing, which from what I've heard is a good. I've seen the, uh, the one who was Josh, he was the heavy set kid on the show. Okay. Um, I've seen him in the uh, Red Dawn remake. It took me like 10 minutes to realize, holy crap, that was the best kid off of Jake and, uh, Jake and Josh. And he's lost a lot of weight, and he's actually got some superstar action hero kind of uh, capability. Because, I mean, in that movie, in Red Dawn, he really showed his There's job. even speculation that he will be as Casey Jones, but that's only rumored for right now. He's special, he said in an interview about the upcoming cartoon season for us two that he said he would love to be the Casey Jones in the movie. And you know what? We went on a lot of it. He's got, yeah, he's got that Brooklyn, mid-city kind of accent, so I can see it. He, all like I said earlier, with Red Dawn, he's proven his job. Red Dawn actually was supposed to come out in 2009, and it didn't get released until two or three years later. So, you know, I think you can do it. Another thing for, you know, people that do like your, your evil characters, um, they're starting to make reference. I mean, they're trying to bring in their new ones, but they're trying to make reference to, like, a Fusion Man, which was the Baratine. They've already placed him. And uh, just a little bit spoiler, they're working on the development of Flash, and he will be voiced by Corey Feldman, the original voice of Don Hello, which I'm just Super psyched about. The Slash character is kind of interesting. And I think this is going to He's been a hard developed character. This is the thing, though. This ties into Michael Bay's original uh, leak, if you will. He said the next turtle were all going to be a race of turtles from Convention X and all this, where it drew a lot of fans into the alien. Slash is not a mutant. Slash, in the original material, even in the old Archie comic, was a humanoid turtle from Dimension X. So Eastman and Laird have even said, uh, hinted at times where they would have loved to be able to go around and introduce the turtles into a world, a, a universe filled with more of their kind. Would that the like, do they stay home in New York City where they've grown up, or do they go off? <coughs> so it's one of those deals that Flash kind of leans to the fact of uh, telling fans that, yes, they're out there somewhere in Dimension X. They have a hint. What else? Well, got heard well the Nickelodeon show, I just want to get the last thing a lot of the nods and throwbacks to the classic turtles. Not the CW, when I'm talking the old original. In one of the episodes, they have been, not just one episode, it's been in the couple of episodes. The turtle communicators, what are they called? Turtle cop. When uh, Mikey got a call on one, and Donnie, when he got a call on one, they used to. He gives the old classic do, 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 uh, thing from the original show. They did a fight version of, of the song, and you can't do nothing but laugh because they're paying such homage to the old vintage 80s, 90s, and they just sort of the fact that in a couple episodes, Mikey wanted to say Calabunga, and he was like, I can't see him anymore. So he referred to Booyakasha! That so, is the Cowabunga. That is the modern day Cowabunga. So, but really, I mean, you know, season two is literally right around the corner. They're saying uh, within a month or two. Uh, by if you haven't seen, you need to see this. I mean, so good. Catch up on it. Um, 
Hulu Plus only has like five episodes on there, but if you can find other means of watching it, do it as soon as possible. Because I, I guarantee Nickelodeon's going to be doing a month long marathon of it. They, were, uh, they did earlier with, uh, during the little break before the next uh, uh, final season finale came out. It's out there. You just watch it. You're going to fall in love with it. You're going to love the ins and outs. You're going to love the little quirks. You're going to love everything about it. I did not like anything about my kids like So, go catch it. It's got great talent. I mean, Sean Austin from uh, Lord of the Rings, Sam like Gamgee. Yeah. He is, wow. uh, he is Raphael. Um, God, I could not ever think of his name, but one of the main co-stars from American Pie. Yeah, I don't know which one you're talking about. The, the, the Pie Lover. So yeah, guys, it's a great show. But let's get on to the movie. Okay. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, ah, oh, Bob, so just going to throw some names out here. I go back, make a box. What do you own? Arnett. What are you wearing? Leonard Fitchner, yeah. Alan Richardson, both dead, the rapper. Wow. All right, guys. I mean, if you go to imdb.com and do search for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2014, this is, okay, first of all, I'm really, really surprised Michael Bay is working with Megan Fox again, especially after the the that was the on, on uh, the last Terminator in the Transformers. That's why she didn't appear in three. In two, she pissed off Barbara Lang with Michael Bay so bad, he said he would never work with her again. He was tender. Oh, it, it's the worst case of it. But that isn't the real issue. I mean, as an April O'Neil, she could work. We'll see. But William Fisher, the shredder. I've seen this uh, thing going on online. Everybody oh, okay, to to my okay, that was the big thing going on. Tim and Will Arnett, they were not saying who they were going to play. So were you like, is he going to play Casey? Is he going to play Shredder? If you didn't think they were going to race, you know, go for the whole burning. You know, Will they, Arnett they, is a pink shirt nerd that works with April. And they came out with it, and it was a total shocker because they're like, could he do Casey? But he did the shredders. Will, Will Arnett as Casey? No. As Vernon? Yes. Dead on. Dead yeah. on. There's William and Shredder. I, the fact I love his acting. I love his acting. He is a great actor. Uh, but Dark Knight. Go watch The Dark Knight. Yeah, The Dark Knight, the first part of it, where he goes face to face with the Joker. That is awesome. He's an excellent actor. He really is. I think he's on the radio. There, if there's going to be some change to the origin. Shredder will not be Japanese. Japanese. He's going to be, you know, he's adopted. He's adopted into uh, this family, and he's always like an outcast. But I think he can do it. I like the backstory. This is online everywhere too. With the Shredder character, his parents killed because one's the samurai and one's a ninja, and the ninja clan is a foot don't like what they found out about, you know, his mother, Harris, and Samurai, had them both killed, but the Shredder, he did not get caught, and as he grew and learned the ways, he took vengeance on the uh, head of the clan and killed them all, and they took the foot. That's his back, it's not a line, I mean, you do a search for it there, but we'll be Goldberg and Bernadette Thompson. Bernadette, if you don't remember, was a blue sweater wearing a nerdy assistant. It was you know, the act in, in the 80s and 70s went to Burn Mom. In the original Eastman, they it was a female. So no, in, in the original cartoon, Bernadette was a blue sweater, black haired uh, secretary. Okay, yeah, yeah there we go. go. Whoopi Goldberg as the character, I can see it. Whoopi yeah. Goldberg is an extremely versatile actor, so it works. But, you know, uh, Danny Whitford is going to be split up. Uh, Danny Woodburn, if you're not familiar with who he is offhand, he's been in a lot of stuff. I believe he's employee of the week with uh, Dan Cook. He's on Crash and Bernstein, which is on the Disney uh, Channel. And I, if I remember Chris, I might have him confused with another uh, actor of this actor. Uh, Critters 3 is one where it takes place in a uh, carnival. And there was a 
had a midget character that was dressed up as a monster for their uh, freak show. I don't know if that was him offhand without very little being on it. I, I looked like I did a very good drink. Yeah, you were either been around for quite a few years, so it's possible he be quite running. Oh, gosh, yes. Um, now, everybody who's playing the Turtles are not nomads. They are actually, uh, Jeremy Howard, he was in a movie with uh, Justin Long called Accepted. He was the kid with the dark hair that could not even blow up stuff in his mind. So if you've seen Accepted, his character was quite funny. His, you know, he'd always get something that looked like he was about to explode. But his character was quite funny. The other one, he's going to have a friend kind of coming from the underground or uh, Jeremy Howard, a lot of his stuff has been guest appearances, mostly on TV shows, uh, but everybody else, like Jim Jimmy Raphael, uh, where is he? Uh, Alan Richardson. Yes, he is, uh, has been in a few things, uh, like Blue Mountain State, uh, Rex. Uh, the TV shows, uh, they have spot one episode kind of stuff, yeah. yeah. Like, he's not a big known actor. Uh, he's relatively new on the scene, but, uh, but it doesn't matter because these guys, none of us are going to see their faces. No. So it's really interesting to see how everything's going to come together. Um, kind of debunk some of the, well, there's what actors, if you go down in our list here on IMDb.com, Abby Elliott, there's no listing of who she's going to see. I'm wondering if it's the Shredder's daughter or something like that, you know? I think it's Paramount. Well, you know what? I oh, think the longtime friend of uh, April and yeah, I think it's Paramount. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Well, I'll, I'll just, there's, there's a lot of, uh, I'll just tell you basically for the plot development, who, uh, what characters are all involved in the plot. The regular coordinated turtles, Splinter, Shredder. April O'Neil, Bird, uh, you've got Master Stockman, uh, you also have uh, Bernadette Thompson. That's pretty much pretty much it for now. There's a lot of other actors involved if you go to There's a lot of there's a lot of rumors and without knowing one hundred percent, I'm not gonna say A or B, but I know people have been uh, talking about like Rock City Bob. And Crane, I would see those people. Crane, we don't know who's going to be Crane. I could see those four or eight people. No, Crane is going to be involved because the who's the change of the turtles has already been stated. It is an alien origin, so the Crane are involved. The big question, though, is the Rossi and Bebop, I would not speculate on them being in this one. I would bet you for a safer I vote for two, Secret of the Youth, but it should have been Rocksteady and Bebop and not so good Rocksteady. Even though I love the wrong song, he was a very interesting character. But anyway, to quell some of the rumors that Ethan Blair and Michael Bay have all said, the Turtles are not going to be from an alien universe. They are not going to be uh, trapped on Earth or coming to fight the alien invasion of Earth. They're just going to be quick tragic compared to the Transformers. Yeah, the, the, these characters are going to be what we remember as kids. They're going, to be they're going to be mutated, and um, a lot of the other material, I said that the rumors are just so huge and already been debunked. First of all, we have Ethan and Blair doing characters of Hater, not that uh, Yeah. And you guys, and a lot of the younger viewers might be watching our show right now that have you know, grown up in the 90s, and, and the last thing that Ninja Turtles they remember was the old CW show from 10 years ago. He's, uh, Michael Bay grew up on the one we grew up on, the one from 1986 and up, uh, and the Archie comics, the Ethan and Laird original comics. That's what this movie is based on. Just like the Transformers, the Transformers wasn't based off the uh, 2000, 2001, 2002 Transformers that was on a cartoon network in order to understand. The ones that he did were based off the Transformers we grew up in, uh, in 1984. So, you know, there's a lot of rumors going around. I'm going to debunk them all, but it's one that they're all out there on the internet. The whole story is alien invasion, who's uh, based on alien origin. The turtles are, you know, 
uh, from this planet that got mutated. Splinter, we don't know the all around aspect of what he was going to be, you know, like the original Purple Pride stuff mutated from the whole rat. Just give it a chance because the original creators were involved in it and they're not going to let somebody destroy their baby. And the other thing, I love the animation. Uh, we haven't seen any animation yet, but I'm there, sure there, are, some, there are some behind the scenes footage where you can see the actors in the big characters and they look goofy, but your mind just goes crazy with what it could be, and you, you know, you're like a kid on the You look at the pictures, the other thing is, they got cameras aimed right here, and cameras aimed right here, and you, you can see some close up shots, or get close enough to other shots, you can see little dollar measures for clench and open mouth movement. There's no animatronics whatsoever in this, and I'm sorry, the thing is, the way he has gotten with lifelike appearances, last four or five years, these turtles are going to be outrageously incredible. I, I will say this right now, back in the day, animatronic, Jim Henson, God bless you, we would be nowhere near without your genius. God bless you, man. But, I mean, where it's like now, I mean, CG is going to be involved. I think these turtles are going to make a massive appearance. I mean, they're going to look so lifelike, and they're going to move so much. Yeah. And the suits are designed this way for sun are going to look incredible. But let's close this up. I mean, first of all, cartoon, I'm, I'm totally please check it out. It is good. Too, totally tubular, radical. They have two gnarly movies out now. Uh, right with the turtle and there's a shutter. So good. The movie, the uh, movie can't wait. 2014 is ain't coming fast enough. Um, keep an eye out this weekend was that uh, this past weekend was San Diego Comic Con, International Comic Con. I'm willing to make you a wager that something for the internals will come out by the end of the weekend. So everybody kind of keep your eye out on the internet. We're going to post up to nosenerds.com. Uh, keep your eye on nerds. Keep your eye on Nickelodeon. Keep your eye on the... And we even got uh, Nathan here's got a great Facebook page. Uh, keep your eye on uh, IDG. IMDG. Uh, and Nickelodeon can have stuff, but what was your, uh, if you go to, it is on Facebook, it is called Teeny Beauty Ninja Turtle Quotation Shell Squad, the official Facebook page, and I constantly update this daily, or nearly hourly, about stuff with Nickelodeon, with uh, Ethan, and just about anything turtle related. Yeah, anything I, I turtle is if, if I see there's options going on online on eBay, Thank you, I grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. People need to be updated. If you're a true ninja girl type, you have to have your good function. Oh, gosh, yes. Not just me, too. Yeah, I think you wish. Honestly. Um, but yeah, you guys, I feel good. But guys, this has been awesome. Thank you so much for watching. We have been so happy to do this. I'm still totally excited. So, until next time. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, Alan. California! Take it out there! How long was that? <laughs> we hit 30. After my uh, editing and uh, all that, it will be 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I only noticed that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we actually you know, I think we was talking loud enough that this should have picked it up just fine. Wow. But hey guys, we hope you enjoyed. If you did tune in to watch us for our uh, live telecast here of uh, Notes and Nerds, but we're gonna close off now. Thanks for coming and taking this behind scene look to see what we do. Eric appreciates that. I totally appreciate it. Thank you so much. And guess, and you know what? This is always going to be on YouTube, so uh, this is going to be a little redundant for those of you who are tuning in to the recorded uh, show of this. But uh, keep an eye out for my channel because I will do stuff more like this as much as possible. And uh, don't forget, Notes and Nerds, we're always there. Uh, we're, we are at notesnerds.blogspot.com right now. We haven't got the uh, .com situated yet. Don't freaking steal it. But we'll get it out there. We'll get a proper website. Twitter, Facebook. We're all over the place. Later. <laughs>